Have you ever wondered who saved a billion lives from starvation? The answer is Norman Borlaug. This remarkable man born in the heart of rural America, in Cresco, Iowa, came from humble beginnings. The son of Norwegian immigrants he was raised on a small farm where he first developed a keen interest in agriculture. Borlaug's early life was not easy. The Great Depression and the Dust Bowl years left an indelible mark on him. These hardships coupled with his innate curiosity about the natural world drove him to pursue a career dedicated to improving agricultural practices. Borlaug's education and experiences shaped him into a tireless advocate for agricultural innovation, setting him on a path that would not only change his life but the lives of billions around the globe. So, who exactly was Norman Borlaug, and how did he become the savior of a billion lives? Stay tuned as we delve into the extraordinary journey of this remarkable man. The world was on the brink of a food crisis but Borlaug had a solution. The Green Revolution, a term coined in the mid-20th century was about to begin, and at its heart was Norman Borlaug. His mission was clear, to combat food scarcity and improve agricultural productivity. While working in Mexico, Borlaug dedicated his efforts to the development of disease-resistant wheat varieties. He aimed to create a crop that could withstand the onslaught of rust, a devastating fungal disease. After years of tireless work he was successful, his high-yield disease-resistant wheat transformed Mexican agriculture. From a wheat-importing nation, Mexico turned self-sufficient in less than two decades. This achievement was more than just a scientific breakthrough. It was a beacon of hope for a world on the edge of a food crisis. It proved that with innovation and dedication, we could feed the world. Borlaug's green thumb didn't stop there it reached out across continents. From Mexico to India, Borlaug's work transcended borders. The seeds of change he sowed in the soil of Mexico had a far-reaching impact. His high-yielding, disease-resistant wheat varieties didn't just stay confined to the lands of Mexico, they traveled across oceans finding their way to the fields of India and Pakistan. In the mid-60s these nations were on the brink of widespread famine, their traditional crops were failing, and starvation was a looming reality for millions. Enter Borlaug's miracle wheat. The crop thrived in these new lands, drastically increasing yields and pulling countless people back from the precipice of hunger. Borlaug's work was a beacon of hope in a world grappling with the threat of food scarcity. It was a testament to the power of science and innovation, and a shining example of how one man's dedication can bring about global change. The world recognized Borlaug's contribution, and a prestigious honor awaited him. In 1970, Borlaug received the highest honor, the Nobel Peace Prize. This recognition was not just for his scientific prowess, but for the remarkable humanitarian impact of his work. Borlaug was celebrated for his role in the Green Revolution, an agricultural transformation that saved countless lives from starvation. His innovative approaches to crop breeding and cultivation had led to a dramatic increase in food production, particularly in developing countries. The Nobel Committee lauded Borlaug's efforts in tackling world hunger, recognizing his work as a significant contribution to peace. Because as we all know, a world where everyone has enough to eat is a far more peaceful place. Borlaug's Nobel Peace Prize win brought his work to the global stage, raising awareness of the challenges of food security and the power of agricultural science to address them. His legacy continues to inspire scientists and humanitarians around the world but Borlaug's mission was far from over. The miracle that fed millions was dwarf wheat, picture a typical wheat plant tall and swaying now shrink it. That's the genius of Norman Borlaug's dwarf wheat. By selectively breeding wheat to be shorter Borlaug revolutionized agriculture. You see traditional wheat plants are tall, and when they're loaded with grain, they topple over, a problem known as lodging. But Borlaug's dwarf wheat stood firm. Shorter stalks meant more energy was directed to producing grain, resulting in higher yields. But Borlaug didn't stop there. He also bred his wheat to be disease resistant, a double whammy for farmers. The result was a crop that could withstand harsh conditions and still produce abundantly. Borlaug's dwarf wheat was a game changer. It transformed farming, increased food production, and sparked the green revolution. With this miracle crop, Borlaug saved millions from starvation. Borlaug's innovations were not confined to the fields, they reached the halls of power. Borlaug was not just a scientist, he was a policy influencer. Indeed his impact was not limited to the fields and labs, his voice echoed in the halls of power, advocating for a change that was desperately needed. He understood the role of policy in shaping agriculture, and used his influence to promote agricultural technology and innovation. 
Borlaug's advocacy centered on the necessity of embracing scientific advancements in farming. He championed the use of high-yield crop varieties, fertilizers, and modern farming techniques. His tireless advocacy played a pivotal role in shaping global food security policies. His voice was instrumental in elevating the conversation on agricultural innovation, making it a priority on the global stage. He was a firm believer in the power of science to combat hunger, and his relentless advocacy reflected this belief. In this way, Borlaug was not just a man of science, but also a man of people, pushing for policies that would ultimately benefit humanity. Borlaug's legacy goes beyond his lifetime. In 1986 the World Food Prize was established to honor Borlaug's contribution. This prestigious award, often referred to as the Nobel Prize for Food and Agriculture, was created to recognize and inspire breakthrough achievements in feeding the world. The World Food Prize is not just an award, it's a beacon, highlighting the commendable work of individuals who have significantly improved the quality, quantity, or availability of food across the globe. It celebrates the heroes who strive to eradicate hunger, malnutrition, and poverty, embodying Borlaug's lifelong mission. Just as Borlaug transformed agriculture, the World Food Prize transforms the way we perceive and value efforts in food security and sustainable agriculture. It's a testament to the power of science, innovation, and human compassion, values that Borlaug stood for. As we delve deeper into his life, let's keep the World Food Prize in mind as a symbol of Borlaug's enduring legacy. Let's uncover some lesser-known facts about this extraordinary man. Beyond his scientific achievements, Borlaug was a multifaceted individual. Let's dive into some of the lesser-known aspects of his life that reflect his diverse interests and unwavering commitment to his cause. Growing up in the rural heartland of America, a young Norman Borlaug developed a passion for wrestling. This enthusiasm stayed with him throughout his life, teaching him resilience and determination. In fact, it's said that the same tenacity he displayed on the wrestling mat was later mirrored in his relentless pursuit of solutions for world hunger. Borlaug's journey to becoming the father of the Green Revolution was not a solitary endeavor. He was part of a dedicated team at the Rockefeller Foundation where he began his life's work in the 1940s. His collaboration with the foundation allowed him to apply his innovative scientific methods on a global scale, revolutionizing agriculture across the world. But perhaps the most inspiring aspect of Borlaug's life was his tireless efforts to fight against hunger. He was more than just a scientist. He was a humanitarian. Even after his retirement, Borlaug continued to advocate for the cause he dedicated his life to. He worked in Africa in his 80s helping smallholder farmers to increase their yields and improve their livelihoods. His dedication was such that he was often found in the fields alongside the farmers, inspecting crops and providing hands-on guidance. His commitment to his work was recognized by the United Nations, who named him a goodwill ambassador in the fight against hunger. This role allowed him to continue his advocacy on a global platform, raising awareness and garnering support for the cause he held dear. Borlaug's life was a testament to his belief that science, coupled with compassion, could change the world. His legacy is not just in the billion lives he helped to feed, but also in his relentless dedication to the cause of eradicating global hunger. Today we remember Norman Borlaug, the man who fed a billion. Norman Borlaug's life was a testament to the power of science and compassion. From his humble beginnings to his monumental achievements, Borlaug's journey was marked by determination, innovation, and a deep-seated desire to alleviate world hunger. His groundbreaking work in developing high-yielding disease-resistant wheat varieties sparked the Green Revolution, transforming agriculture on a global scale and earning him the Nobel Peace Prize. Borlaug's academic genius, coupled with his humanitarian efforts, led to the creation of the dwarf wheat, a miracle crop that fed millions. His advocacy for change, policy reforms, and the establishment of the prestigious World Food Prize are testament to his enduring legacy. We've also delved into some lesser-known aspects of his life revealing the man behind the science. Borlaug's life and work have had an immeasurable impact on our world, proving that one person's vision can indeed feed a billion. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Norman Borlaug, the man who changed the world with wheat.